M0FXP, welcome to my channel. RS918 SDR HF transceiver. It does not have a built in tuner. It does actually have a tune button if you look here. If you press F6, it's activating my tuner that you can see on top. It saves you having to push the PTT whistle, all that kind of stuff. You know, grab your, your CW sender. So in this video, I wanted to show you the AT100M tuner that I've got that can be set between 10 watts power and 100 watts power. And it just works great. And you don't even have to push the button to, you know, to make this tune. You do it. There is a configuration. I'll show you the quick configuration that I do. So it, it will either go between 10 and 100 watt radios. It's a very small unit. You know, you can use it on all your HF radios. And I find that it works fine. I wouldn't use it. Um, for uh, contesting and for hard work, you know, this is for short conversations if you ask me but Anyway, so just configure it. You just hold down the the silver button here Keep your finger on it and it will get you into the settings menu And then we've just reset it there. So I've got a thing we turn it off first then we hold it then we turn it on Yeah, that's our settings menu. Then you scroll down until you see the word. And you're scrolling down by just pressing. And there's a lot of other parameters you can set. But we're just interested in the tune power. Let's keep going. I always go straight past this. There it is there. It says... 10 watts. Now I've made lots of videos configuring this tuner, but anyway, 10 watts. And if you want to change it to 100 watt radio, just hold it and then it goes across and then press it. That says 100 watts now. Press it again, 10 watts. Hold it and you're done. And then just turn it on and off. Now, tuning wise, once it's connected to the radio, and I'll show you how that is configured. So just the normal BNC to the 918 and then you've got your patch lead and that goes to the trans transceiver out on the back of the device and on the left hand side if you're facing it from the front, you're like so, okay, you've got your antenna, okay, not the best, I need to redo this patch lead, don't I? But that's the antenna, it's a long wire, uh, four, I'm pretty sure it's 49 to 1 ballon, 20 meter wire that one. So back to the radio. The nice thing is you don't actually have to push any button. But if you push it, it will say wait. I'll hit the tune button. I, I've already tuned it once, so it may it may not need tuning. Oh, it did tune there, 1.10. Let's try a different band. You do have to, oh yeah, push the button again. Let's try 20 meters. So you just tap here. You can go to 20 there, look. 40 meters. You can go up and down on the band here as well. This is a really interesting device, this one. You know, it's it's small. It's, it's, you know, you can almost hold it like a big handheld radio. But it, it, has, it packs a real punch. And the, it's, the firmware has been modified by different people. I'm using the Nazir firmware uh, once I install it. This is the way it came out of the box. It does have a waterfall. You can hold down the up, up buttons here and it starts to waterfall. And you can change the colors of the waterfall. You can tap the screen, everything you can select by tapping the screen, the modes, the band, all that, the filters. But you've also got a button for everything. If anything, you've got two buttons for everything because look, step here up and down or press, press the actual VFO knob. Or what was the other one I saw? I think tap the screen as well. You can do it and you've got power, signal meter, even shows your SWR, ALC. We're going to be testing this on ft8 in a minute i haven't installed the new firmware that i want to use yet i just thought i'd uh, have a little play with it first uh with my tuner and uh, a couple of other things and then look get literally learn my way around it before i start breaking it and learning and loading firmware no you can't really brick it it's just you just reload the firmware if you get it wrong uh the uh, the firmware process is is I have been told I can use the USB that's on the side here. There's a USB, the top, I think it's the top one. I can put a little stick in there, USB stick. 
and, and, and then it just loads it. You have to hold down, I think it's the down button and the power, but there's a process. So uh, we'll learn that and we'll do that in a video. So let's just um, try tuning on 40 meters. We'll go up the band, 20. Okay, USB. The power's just five. And then we'll hit the tune and watch what the tuner does. So it's struggling because it's not the best antenna, but it still did it, didn't it? And then remember, I keep forgetting to untune. Now it will really struggle if I do 80. So what I'll do, I'll probably lower the power just to, so it doesn't have to work so hard. That's here. One more, keep that on SWR. And then hit the tune button. Let's go up a bit higher. You can see that even the SWR here is showing okay. And it says here 1.03. Now you can have different displays on this ATM100, look. Just press and you cycle the one you like the look of. I mean, I, that one's a nice clear information, isn't it? Forward reflector and SWR. And again, I keep forgetting to de-key. Apologies for that, M0FXP. So try again. So look, we're showing... Let's have a look now, not cool. 1.02 for, is that 10 watts power? Or 0 0. 0.1? I, even I'm confusing myself. Again, forgetting to press that button, apologies. Um, but anyway, it works. Yeah, and I'm having fun with this device. Let's just go back to 40. It's a bit of learning. Let's turn it up. But that's how I like it, really. It's boring otherwise. Someone there. Change the step. Right. There are a lot of parameters. To set the new firmware apparently that I'm going to install makes the radio a lot quieter. I call now. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. You'll see. Hi Callum, Western Supermare Southwest. Just testing a, a, an RS918 actually, just on, have a look here, on 1 watt M0 FXB, Western Supermare. Okay, what's your name? Oh, Roger, Roger, it's Andreas, Andreas. How cool is that? Now I don't want to load the firmware because I'm like on one watt. That was a really clear audio. I didn't wait for my audio, my signal report, but that was good, wasn't it? Very chuffed about that. 7-3, let's end on a high. And the tuner's working well. Bye for now.